Hey, Wayne the Word Tunes guy here. If you can write, you can draw. And it's another random number with a shout out to Finn Kingsington. And he's the one who commented and gave me a random number to, to pick from. Oh. Okay, so we're working with number 14. So, and again, I've got five different cartoons we're going to turn the number 14 into. So there we go. This one's the, probably the quickest and easiest one. All right, can you tell what it is? There we go. Yep, it's a kite. A kite. Why have I drawn a kite? Well, on January the 14th is... It's a, it's a special day they have in India and it's like a, a huge big international kite day. So I thought I'd throw in this a bit of wind. There we go, 14 into a kite. Okay, so let's whip out another 14. There we go, down like that. All right, cross down like there and what is it? Does it look like anything yet? Circle down there. There we go. All right, and with a collar. And Zai. And a little scruffy here. Now, why am I drawing a dog out of the number 14? Wow. Back in the 1800s, there was a, a, a man and a dog, and the dog's name was Bobby, and they were inseparable. But then, unfortunately, the man died, and when they buried him, the dog went and sat at the man's grave, at his tombstone. He stayed there, he stayed guarding the, the grave for 14 years so and there's actually so it's, this is in Edinburgh in Scotland and they actually have a, a, a nice big statue there dedicated to the dog so the dog was there for 14 years and he, he actually died on the 14th of January after he'd been there for so long missing his master Oh, there we go, the number 14 into Bobby the dog who guarded the grave 14 years. Okay, and here we go. 14 again, downstroke, and then zip across like that. Okay, now straight up, over like that. Down, connect. All right, now I'm going to put another triangle over there. And so it's, I'm drawing somebody. Oh, you need, oh, you need dogs in the background. You're drawing somebody, but who's? Uh, I wonder if you can recognize who it is yet. I don't know if anything really gives it away just yet. Put his mouth open a little bit there. Bottom of the lip. Okay, and then see his moustache. Alright, there we go. And let's let's fill his hair in a bit. It's a little bit a little bit like a clown hairstyle, I guess, but he's not a clown. Alright. Although he he you could say he's kind of an entertainer in a way. All right, now this part should start to give it away. Maybe you can recognize him by now. Okay. Now, when I draw this bit, I'm sure it'll give it away. This sort of old fashioned prop thing. Yeah, it's Shakespeare. Okay, so why am I drawing Shakespeare with a number 14? Oh, he didn't leave or die or birthday or something to do with number 14. It's 
because, well, he wrote sonnets. A sonnet is a poem that has 14 lines. And, well, Shakespeare wrote 154 sonnets. So he wrote a lot of things and so a lot of them were sonnets. So let's do one, two, three, four. So I, I've, I've written a few poems. Have you written any poems? All right, let's throw his shoulder on there and a bit of a fancy front down his clothes there. and there we go and he's he's probably looking showing it to somebody reading it out so there we go 14 into Shakespeare and his and his sonnet <laughs> okay and again here we go 14 what's this one going to be turned into all right straight into it very easy down down uh, could be a tent but no house or a tent no oh, is that a path no it's not a tent it's not the path cross there like that all right more lines and then uh, more lines okay and a couple more so it doesn't look like much of anything yet um maybe it's starting to show up or something all right here we're going to do with the one let's bring it down Okay, so can you see what he's on? Another bit of a thing there. And okay, this will give it away. U S A. Alright, so yeah, colour that in. And so yeah, it's it's looking like a rocket, and that's the the, the shuttle cone at the top there. And then this is what's this part next to it? Well it's the it's the launch tower. Okay, so why am I drawing a rocket? Well, that's because the Apollo 14 was the third mission to go to the moon. And, well, I guess I went to the moon. The moon, uh, moon is related to every 14 days. It, uh, oh, I can't remember the term. It, it comes near and it goes far every 14 days. Okay, so there we go, that's all the smoke and stuff happening when it's taken off. And let's just up here in the faded distance. That's the moon where it's gonna be headed. And lights gonna do some stars. I don't think they really launch rockets at night. I, I'm not sure, I have never don't know if I've ever seen. It's usually in daytime, I think. But you know, maybe it's in the afternoon, you can just catch a glimpse of the stars. So there we go, 14. One more start. All right. <laughs> and we got one more. What? What else are we going to do? 14? Okay. So now, straight into it. I'm going to come over here. Curve it straight onto there. Doesn't look like anything whatsoever. So, I'm going to start over here and bring it up to there. Okay, and then, there we go. No, maybe that, look, that one line there, maybe that gave it away. And now, now it's starting to look like something. All right, it's looking like, well, a bird. Okay, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna get it curved down to there. All right, up and around. And I'm gonna stop there. And so it's another bird, and this tail, the views for like kind of from three quarter behind shot, where the other one's three quarter forward. But there's the beak. So why am I drawing a couple of birds? Well, maybe you guessed. February the 14th, Valentine's Day. So what do you say? What's Valentine's Day? Well, there are a couple of love birds, and there are actually birds called lovebirds but you know 
when you see couples around and people dating and out and stuff, people call them lovebirds. I think real lovebirds are like green, they look like little parrots. I, I might be wrong. But this little, this lovebird, she's, well, I'd say that's the girl one. She's quite happy, she's jumped up and they're, they're giving each other a peck. A oh, peck, you know, like a light little kiss. All right, and there's the eyes. Okay, and so, just so make sure we know it, they're not just normal birds, they're love birds. There we go, number 14, into a cartoon of some love birds for Valentine's Day. All right, thanks for watching. So, subscribe if you haven't. Like, comment, tell me another random number with your comment, and maybe it'll be the next one. And remember, eat more fruit.